Top of the morning. And it is a beaut. And the hope of the Irish as the future champion of the world. A podcast is kind of like a, it's like a radio show that's not on the radio. Here's Barry J. McDonald and the RightCount.com podcast. Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to today's podcast episode from RightCom.com. And today's podcast episode is entitled, What If It All Goes Wrong? Now, the other day I'd seen uh, a video on TikTok, um, and it was a video I'd seen before, but it was a nice reminder of when it came back up in my news feed. Um, it was a commencement speech that Jim Carrey gave. I don't know when, and I don't know where. I'm sure if you do um, a search on YouTube, you'll probably find the full uh, speech. But the clip that was, post- that was posted on uh, TikTok was a segment where he was speaking about how his father could have been a comedian like him. His father, I don't know anything about the man. I don't know if he was funnier than Jim Carrey. But um, he said to himself, you know, that his father, he reckoned, could have, had a, could have made it as a, as a comedian. But his father took the safe route. Again, probably going back a couple of years, that was probably the safest thing to do back then. Or that was what everybody was doing back then. Everybody was going from college into a job and that was it. You know, they probably had dreams when they were younger, but as you do get older, then you're kind of crammed and you're kind of confined into a role that is kind of, I only got a job at the end of it. You know, there's no kind of... Nobody is inspiring you at the end of school to go after your dream, to go and be that astronaut, to go and be that stuntman, to be that movie star or whatever. No, they're always telling you, go and get a safe job. Go and get a job where you are secure for the rest of your life or get it with a secure company and, you know, you'll be okay then, you'll be set up for life. But as Jim was saying, his father, you know, when he probably left college or whatever, he thought he was going to go the safe, safe route. And instead of becoming a comedian, he became an accountant. Now, Jim said that at the age of 12, his father was, he'd lost his job and they had lost everything. Now, I don't know how desperate they were at the time for cash, but as Jim said, you know, his father had gone down the route that he thought was a safe route. And yet, at the end of it, the rug was still pulled in from under his feet and he was back at square one. And as Jim said, you know, you're better off going after the thing that you would like to do, because if the rug is pulled out from under you, at least you're back at the same spot. You are going to be in no worse place than you will be if you had that safe and secure job. So unfortunately, if you are maybe, you know, afraid to write a book because you think, well, you know, what if it flops? You know, what if this podcast I'm about to create doesn't take off? What if I make videos for TikTok and no one's interested in it? What then? You know, it was a complete flop. It was a complete waste of my time. But I'd argue that, you know, okay, fair enough. Maybe the book didn't take off. Maybe the podcast didn't get any listens. Maybe nobody's watching your videos. But were you happy doing that? You know, when I think back to the first fiction book that I really kind of worked hard on, which was the the Minecraft series of books I did for children, you know, I was never guaranteed that that first book would sell well. It was just an idea I had in my head. And I had this little character called Hero Brian, and I kind of made up a story to go with him. And I just put my heart and my soul into that book, and then I published it. Now, I wasn't guaranteed that I would sell one copy, ten copies. I wasn't guaranteed any of that at all. Now, that book did take off and it did sell really, really well. I've sold thousands and thousands of copies of that book, but I wasn't guaranteed any of that success when I set off. The only thing that I was guaranteed was that when I sat down to do my writing every day, I loved being in that Minecraft Minecraft world. You know, I loved writing about the characters, the adventures, you know, all the kind of arguments between the characters, all the disputes and all the battles and all that. I loved all that. I lost myself, you know, in the process of writing that book. So even though that book, you know, if it had been a flop, I would have been no worse off. I would have been back in the same situation I was before, but... For those couple of weeks when I was writing that book, I was at my happiest. I was having the most fun in my life writing that book. So there wasn't a loss altogether. Okay, if I didn't sell any books, I didn't sell any books. But I had fun doing it. It made me, you know, it made me feel like I was... I felt for a moment that I was almost like Stephen King, you know, working away at the typewriter, churning out page after page of great fiction. Now, comparing my book to Stephen King's book is, you know, 
is asking a lot. But um, in those moments when I was writing that book, I did feel like I was, you know, heading off on my little kind of career as an author. So I had my happy moments when I was doing that. And if now maybe you are holding yourself back right now because you're wondering, will the podcast take off? Will the blog take off? Will whatever you're doing right now take off? Who knows? We can, you know, we can set it up as best we can. We can do a little bit of research. We can make sure that everything is right. But nothing is ever 100% guaranteed. Anything could happen at any moment. You know, that that fiction uh, genre that maybe you're going into could suddenly dry up overnight. Or maybe that blog that you are about to write in that niche could just simply just fall away. So you're never guaranteed of success. But what you are guaranteed is that you will have fun doing the thing that you're doing. You know, you'll have fun if you love making videos. You'll have fun recording those TikTok videos, even if no one is ever going to watch them. You know, if you have, if you enjoy podcasting, you like I know I am never going to get thousands of listens to this podcast of mine, but I know I'm having fun here. I'm having fun just sitting in the car right now, holding my phone up and just expressing my thoughts and express my thoughts and maybe helping someone on the other side of the world who I will probably never come in contact with. But right now, it's giving me a great feeling that I am... You know, in my own very, 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 very small way, I'm making a difference in the world. That I could be helping someone with some problem they have, or I could be inspiring them, or I could be motivating them. So even though I don't get those thousands and thousands of listens, it doesn't really matter to me because I'm having fun doing this. And again, back to my fiction, it was fun when I did it. So you're never really guaranteed success. You know, if it goes wrong, the worst thing that's going to happen is where you are going to be right back where you are. But... At least if you are right back where you are, at least you tried. You gave it a go. You followed that dream. Maybe it didn't work out, but at least you followed that dream. Because unfortunately, there are people out there who will never follow that dream. They will go the safe route like Jim Carrey's father. They'll try and get a job that is secure, that will set them up for the rest of their lives. They're going to work in miserable jobs and they're always going to have that doubt at the back of their mind. What if I wrote that book? What if I recorded those videos? What if I done that podcast? Where will I be? So if you're going to do those things, at least you will have an answer to those questions. So follow your dream. Who knows? It may work out. It mightn't work out. But at least you know. And if the worst happens, you are still going to be back in the exact same spot that where you set off from. Nothing's going to happen. The world's not going to stop turning. But at least you'll know you've scratched that itch and you've done something to, you know, to make a difference in your own life and possibly make a difference in the world. So keep going. Give it a go. You're not guaranteed success, but at least scratch that itch and see what happens next. Have a lovely day. Bye bye. Thanks for joining us today. If you'd like more from the rightcome.com podcast, be sure to subscribe now for more tips, tricks, and ideas you can use to make more money from your words. See you in the next episode.